Great. <laughs> yeah, hello everybody. Tony. So so nice to to meet you. I'm a writer and a global peace activist. And uh, we are uniting in, in uh, our network, Global Peace Building Network, uniting people and organization to finish ultimate global peace in every country by 2025. And uh, as you see, the current situation on the world is uh, that 1% of population, uh, they take 99% of the wealth and power in every country, a new country too. And every, every, all of them like... Uh, and uh, it's kind of democracy, you know, that uh, democracy start, start from uh, Jesus and he want to build a brotherhood, world of brotherhood. And uh, in 2000 years, it built almost another country. We have no democracy. And uh, I like very much your topic about democracy. And uh, uh, the most important is uh, that uh, the population, 99% of the people in every country, supposed to make dialogue with the power, people in power and people with the wealth. And uh, that's supposed to be mutual understanding, mutual cooperation. Unfortunately, for now, is as farther we go, as we see in the news, as as uh, more separation is from the elites and the simple people. <laughs> so, uh, of course, uh, you you topic is very important to to um, uh, to use negotiation and use cooperation. And this is what our all our tool is about. We uniting people and organization to dialogue and to work together and to cooperate together. And this will bring peace, real peace, uh, because other other tools bring uh, wars as we we see recently in the world. So uh, it's so good that uh, we see these uh, prominent people uh, uh, Ibrahim and Samuel and uh, Shem. I like very much uh, um, how to say <laughs> people from Africa because uh, um, I, I teach them about like spirituality, about revival. I, I teach about uh, uh, them and my work to how to cooperate. I, I teach about the arts of cooperation. Uh, we have a global peace contest and they also uh, of the drawings and also I teach them how to make business because this is most, most important um, how to how to make business because if people could uh, make their own money they will not go for war <laughs> to make money there or other things like that so um, is that all about peace when people and uh, I teach uh, people also uh, from Africa how to make uh, uh, online business and offline business and uh, all of this about negotiations and and we apply appointing uh, um, peace ambassador certificate so uh, i i appointing those peace ambassador those leaders like you like ibrahim who is uh, leading this forum <laughs> to work together and uh, make peace and uh, unite with the uh, youth because uh, uh, of course youth is future but also youth is present too so uh, we're supposed to take care of you because um, this is most important we're supposed to understand as futurologist uh, i i make a research already for 26 years that uh, um uh, you know uh, uh, that what is uh, um how to say <laughs> what is planted uh, that is rapid you know and uh, unfortunately for for now like um, uh, and the news what you see what people are planting and therefore the results is the same so uh, i have very big hope in the youth that they will work together and uh, work together work with the government with elites with everybody not just in their own of course they will be make, make their own like grow and develop their own business and study good and make uh, um, uh, be good leaders and also cooperate with leaders uh, and the politicians and uh, all other spheres businessmen to to build real substantial peace by 2025. This is very important uh, because uh, you see, as futurologist, uh, uh, I predicted this time, uh, I, I wrote a, a book, um, The World of 2020s. So <laughs> uh, you know that uh, uh, everything we could do, uh, because uh, everything, as, as you said, uh, Ibrahim, yes, we have these technologies and um, uh, the God specifically blessed this time that we now unite all people together uh, to fulfill our responsibility because uh, technology is is uh, given to people for cooperation uh, for build peace to build uh, build real, real substantial peace and this is possible all technologies uh, you see that uh, for <clears throat> uh, with social networks with um, 
um, with IP cameras, with everything, all of this technology, uh, soon will be impossible to make scene, to make something against a law. And uh, this is very good because uh, people, everybody, we will live there where there is no any um, crime. So this is this is great, the technology coming uh, here. And um, and uh, uh, let's develop it, let's work it together. Um, but as it, I wrote the book, uh, the message to billions I sent to all you presidents and prime ministers in every countries. So uh, to a uh, roadmap, how to make peace by 2025. So uh, you also could contact your leaders, your president and ask, uh, did they start already to build this peace by 2025? Or uh, they are arguing the news. <laughs> and this is substantial. And this is the cooperation that is supposed to be between uh, government and the people. Because uh, in every country, government uh, and the uh, politicians was uh, elected by by people and uh, the people uh, and they're supposed to ask the will of the people uh, okay. for example like some some politicians go crazy and they start wars and uh, did they ask their their uh, how to say they are they are people who elect them uh, did they ask should we start this or should we should we do that and all other crazy things so uh, as they don't don't ask this as the more people are suffering so uh, Maybe you have some questions, uh, Samuel, Shem, uh, Ibrahim, and uh, let's cooperate together. I like very much your spirit, your forum of uh, um, mutual cooperation, and uh, you share in your forum there in the WhatsApp chat uh, all of this news about education, about business, about uh, politicians, about everything. So it's very good. Um, please keep going like this for Peace 2025. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, no. and Salar, uh, Ibrahim, Shem, maybe you have some uh, questions. Okay, okay, yeah. Th thank you for your presentation as you are going. But yeah, so uh, right now in Africa, we are experiencing a few violence uh, because we, we the youth, we need a, dr a drastic change. Uh, we really want to see the trickle down effect of development in every community. So, Africans, the young people are standing out. But as related to the topic, are we going to replace our democracy and our peace with the violence that we are seeing uprising in Africa as other nations are going to elections, which are crucial also? Like President Liberia, we are gaining, we are gearing for our elections. So I want you to uh, tell us more about the issues of replacing this violence with the peaceful manner in which we are feeling and every young people are resorting to violence. So are we going to replace violence with democracy? What would be the trickle-down effect on the country development in as much as we want development in Africa, but should we resort to violence? Yeah, you know, uh, as I said about futurologists, um, uh, I research this and almost in every country that uh, the, the how to say uh, the um, the tendency is that uh, real work like uh, is um, that uh, is going with so-called e-government. So that means that uh, almost every every how to say citizen have possibility to write to the president to write to the prime ministers to their to, to their so uh, and also uh, by law uh, they supposed to by receiving this email they supposed to answer um for example you have some like about uh, some difficulty when the, with the um in the country with some something uh, concrete problem you write to the pri to the prime minister with solution or with the um, uh, ask to resolve this, for example, in that city or in that uh, village, they need this, 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 and they're supposed to reply that they did it. So uh, uh, the the uh, problem is now that the population don't uh, use this tool. Uh, if, for example, in your country in Liberia, I don't know how many people are there, maybe uh, two, um, I don't know, 10, 10 million people. Yeah, we, we are 5 million plus. We are 5 million yeah, plus. Yeah. If, if all 5 million will write to the to the government and say okay uh we have this situation we have tenses in this so uh, is tenses is about because people don't have work so let's uh, please uh, uh, 
make a program to teach young people to make business or uh, anything, give out jobs, jobs or something like this. So, so they're supposed to work and concretely make a plan to do this. So if we want it or not, but uh, um, but uh, this will grow more. The the um, how to say uh, the, our our task is to write, to cooperate, to contact, and even go to negotiation with government uh, and not fight, but uh, really work together and uh, cooperate together to fix all of this problem because. Uh, uh, T till now, the, the world was led by um, by people who and and everything was thinking. Okay, the king or the president will do everything. But uh, now, as we came to democracy, like almost everybody uh, supposed to um, give their idea and cooperate together and, and, and mutual cooperation. You know, and this is what I I I know for sure, and this is working uh, because I myself I I'm sending. Um, how to say my proposals to my government and the, and the president uh, even to all presidents even to to your country to <laughs> about like make peace I'm very concerned about peace I, I wrote about peace and peace uh, roadmap and all of this so uh, yeah just do it contact and and more people will contact more people more more negotiations supposed to be done and more um, development because everything is about cooperation yes Ibrahim Uh, Ibrahim. The session yeah. is open for Q and A. So, is anybody there that want to ask questions? Uh, Samuel, Ashia, too. You have a questions that you need to ask. I'll mute myself. If you have a question now, you can give your questions while other people are joining. Samuel, I, I, okay. Yes, I was to ask. What of our, uh, our cases where you can't get access to the government and anything else? What would be the solution that maybe we might need to, uh, to apply? Uh, Nicholas, are you there? Say, so why in a case where the citizen cannot get easy access to the government? Yes. Okay. N Nicholas. Hello, hello. Yeah, wait a second. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. I send the link, link to the... But in your country, there is no... Uh, what is official language in a new country? Uh, in, in, in for Liberia, our official language is English. Uh, I think Kenya, Kenya, I, I don't know, Kenya, uh, Samuel, what's the official language in Kenya? So we have two official languages in Kenya, mainly every office, everywhere you attend, you need to speak in, uh, you need to speak in English. And then uh, we have another language that is called Swahili. It's mainly used by the coastal people and uh, probably in the Arabian, not very much by Arabs. But yeah. English is the main language. Akuna <laughs> Matata. Yeah, yes, I know. I, I, I'm very happy that you can understand that. You know, that's a slogan we use everywhere. Everywhere you go, you are feeling like Hakuna Matata, Karibu Kenya. I think that's our slogan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I send you the, the Google link. So you just you just go there and uh, click and and find for the Kenya. For Kenya is the same. Uh, wait a second, Kenya, Kenya. I sent for Liberia. Yeah. Nicola, Nicola. So how is it how is it important for us to maintain the peace that we have in our various country than uh, rejecting to uh, then approaching or resorting to violence for change. Why make it important that we maintain the peace we have? Not in the option of opportunity. Yeah, I sent the link about how to contact your government. And here you see that uh, is uh, uh, you could, uh, there is a website for the Kenya. Also, there is a address and telephone and feedback. So you just have everything to contact him.
and uh, and every country is the same. Just Google it. Government, you own government and contact it. Um, you know uh, why I'm about uh, you ask about and I very much about you uh, powerful uh, strive for peace, <laughs> Ibrahim, because um, uh, that uh, that peace uh, what we are planting that we are collecting so so for example we saw in many countries like for the last 100 years some people do revolutions and they take the power and uh, nothing good came about and uh, also another country was different but uh, everything what is what is uh, taken by power it is also how to say um, is temporary and couldn't be done because like we see in, in some mm -hmm. of you country there in africa there uh, there was many armies who take uh, over the um uh, countries and different countries but uh, step by step they also pass to democracy and and even those army was thinking that they they want to do democracy and this is the big trend that uh, is impossible like how to say is um uh, for my from my per, uh, research as uh, i know that uh, uh, God is leading humankind and is leading to build peace and lead this uh, uh, kingdom of heaven, the ultimate global peace in every country. And uh, uh, we want it or not, this trend will, will grow and will develop and will build substantial peace uh, because uh, uh, this is the problem, because it couldn't be done by weapons and others and uh, strikes and violence. So use peace, plant peace, grow peace. <laughs> Okay, so they say you, we, the idea is we should always use peace uh, to grow our democracy. So that, that's, that's the key message. Uh, uh, is there any questions from anyone? Uh, Tao, Tao, just join us. I don't, Tao, uh, is there any question? A uh, two year, Samuel have just asked, but if you have an uh, idea, but it's not only limited to questions, like we said. Uh, this room is interactive, as our keynote speaker said earlier on. So if you have an idea of uh, that you want to share with us uh, pertaining to this, the, the, related, the topic on the discussion, uh, you can unmute your mic and give us your idea, and we can all look into it. So uh, if you have a question to ask. And anyone in here? Okay. Uh, uh, Nicola, so can you give us an instance as to where in any, okay, some. So we are still, yeah, I'm still listening. Hello, I'm having no question at the moment. I'm just listening. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, uh, 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 Nicola, can you give us an instance in where that you have your country have experience where the citizens uh have to resort to violence in order to solve a democratic uh, or political issues? Is there any instance where citizens in your country have to get so frustrated and resort to violence in order to solve a political issue? Yeah, there is, and every country is the same strike as you see. Even the USA was uh, last year or previous year. So <laughs> they they, uh, they try to do it uh, violent, but uh, nothing, I would say, good came about. And and this strike uh, will will be in our, in other countries too, uh, as we see in Africa and everywhere, because uh, uh, the. Uh, if the so, so those who take power, they will not share it with the population. Of course, the population is suffering. So when when is suffering, they couldn't work like a simple. Of course, is ideal is to build peace, and this will and negotiation will develop. Uh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> happy welcome. Plant peace. <laughs> Okay, Ibrahim. I'm here. So can we, let's let's introduce ourselves, please. Let's introduce ourselves. Let's connect in the chat room. Let's connect. Let's connect. Let's know. Let's introduce ourselves. Let's introduce ourselves. 
Uh, okay, uh, Nicola, I, I want to share an idea and the reason why I think in Liberia right now, I always tell uh, young people that we have to maintain the peace we have. In, in, in regardless of the political struggle that we face, the political hardship, the economic hardship in our country, in our various country in Africa, because one situation in Africa, one case selling, uh, study in Liberia might apply or imply to another situation in Kenya, in South Africa, or in other, uh, any other African country. But as to my experience, is that no matter the hardship, no matter the, demo, uh, the, the, the political hardship or economic hardship, we as individuals, we are developing ourselves, we are pushing ourselves harder to achieve because of the, the level of the technology right now, whatever, wherever we are, we are pushing ourselves. It's because of the technology that I can connect with uh, Nicola, I can connect with Samuel, and we are constantly improving ourselves. So I don't think in no matter what the situation is, we should resort to violence uh, to solve any situation because violence will actually put pause to our personal development. If I don't know if anyone in this chat room have experienced a civil war, but we in Liberia, we experienced 14 years of civil war. In the 14 years of civil, civil war, schools have to close down, businesses shut down. So everyone live on still. The only thing you could think about is to live to see the next day or to even have a meal a day. So I don't want us to experience such uh, uh, such calamity is devastating. The 14 years of civil war in Liberia, the market left a lot of people, a lot of young, a lot of brilliant minds, a lot of uh, 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 educated people were killed by ignorance. So no matter what it is, I think we should maintain our democracy, we should maintain the peace we have, and should resort, our, our, our actions should always resort to peaceful resolutions. Let's resolve things democratically. Let's wait for our vote, our vote count in every situation. So when it's time for us to vote, let's take it very serious. Uh, we the young people, like we always said, the future is us. So we have to push further. We don't have to say, because most of the time, opportunity don't come looking for us. The change that we want doesn't happen without our effort. So we need to take actions. And this is what I want to say to every young man in this group today, that we have to maintain the peace we have in order to aspire for the change that we want to see. Yeah, Ibrahim, so, Nicole, you, are, you, are, you are right. Because uh, uh, as we see that a uh, few years ago, people were thinking that peace will come automatically, but came opposite, the worst. So, uh, I like very much you, young spirit, with the uh, keeping peace, and, and it's supposed to grow and develop uh, because uh, peace is supposed to be maintained, as you said, and built, <laughs> brick by brick. <laughs> okay, seems like that's all for today. Yeah. Uh, um, as we wait for our next guest, our our second speaker, she's making her way. She says she had unexpected uh, jams in her traffic in Lagos. Uh, she will soon be with us. So we had Nicholas that drew us to the peace and his uh, how why it is important that we maintain our peace we have and why we are aspiring for the change that we want to see. So in the chat rooms, I want everyone to introduce themselves so we can connect professionally. What you do, what uh, what is your profession, what organization you engage with, the work you do. So everyone, let's ch share our WhatsApp link and so we can all get connected here and. So, so if you have a question pertaining to peace, uh, Nicholas, you is see, a you see, uh, you see, Tayo came already. She can speak now. Okay. But the guest is my guest is here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. So, so you can take over. So before everybody leaves. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, let's yeah, uh, yeah. let's uh, ask uh, Tayo. Tayo is supposed to speak. Can you turn on the microphone? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, I can. I can speak now, right? Uh, yeah, yes. You are guest yeah. speaker. Yes. All right. Um. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. From wherever you are watching me from, my name is Iswat Badmos, and I'm a Nigerian. So, and I currently work and live in Nigeria. Um, it's a privilege to be here this 
evening, it is evening here in Nigeria, precisely 4.33 p.m. And um, it is a privilege to be among the youth in Africa to talk about um, uh, peace, to talk about the non-violent ways young people can go through uh, developing Africa. And I'm glad that I have uh, people from all over Africa here. I can see my sister from Gambia, and I can also see other people from Liberia. It is a privilege to be here. So uh, this evening, I'll be talking about um, the effect of political violence on the African youth. So I'll be sharing my screen. I have prepared a short presentation slide that would be a guide for me to you know, to discuss with you this evening. So I would want it to be an interactive session. So if you think um, you have a question, you have a contribution, you are free to just show a sign by raising up your hand. You would see where to raise your hand at the, one of the features of uh, Zoom. So so that I'll give you the opportunity to do that. Thank you very much once again, Ibrahim. You are really doing amazing and um, uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sister. You're welcome. Yeah, so can I go on? Can I share my screen? Yes, yes, yes. The floor is all yours now. All right. Okay, so you have to click on security and allow me to share my screen. But I think uh, Zoom will soon end the meeting. But once the meeting has ended, we can still come back with the same link again. I can see that we have uh, two minutes to the end of this meeting, but we can come back using that same link that we used to join this present meeting once Zoom ends this one. So Ibrahim, you can use the security feature. From there, you would see where to allow me to share my screen. Should be able to set that because I cannot share my screen now. It is disabled. So you have to enable me to share my screen. Just check for the security. I just, I just did, I just did. All right, thank you very much. So let's wait for a few seconds and we join back. Then I'll start my session. Thank you very much once again. Okay. Uh, uh is everyone still here? I I, I think I think we yeah. I think I extended the time. I think you can continue. We have just uh we have less than one minute, so I wouldn't want us to start then. Okay, uh, okay that's, that's start. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. in in less than 60 seconds, we are back. Let's wait for that. All right. 